Hey everyone, it's Aaron, and I wanted to quickly show you how to set up your self-scheduling link. It's extremely simple, takes two minutes. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just head over up in the top corner to your profile, choose edit profile. Now I shut mine off for the sake of the video. Uh, you have two options here at the bottom, schedule link, auto-generated or custom, right? So the auto-generated, uh, first what we'll have to do is, is uh, set up the calendar integration. I'll show you how to do that. But if you're already using something like Calendly as an example, you can just put your Calendly link in there and you're good to go. That's it, you're done, hit save changes no further action needed. Now, for us to make you a, uh, a link, all we'll have to do is choose yes, and it's gonna shoot you right over to permission access. Now, mine's gonna look a little different than yours. Uh, one, because I'm using Gmail, you might not be, but also because uh, I'm already done with this, so it's not gonna ask for my permission. So I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna put in my email address, choose login, log in with Gmail. Now, it's gonna shoot me straight over to being done. What's going to show you is 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 a, a checkbox that says permission to access. You're going to have to check off a box. Pretty standard permission access. If you've ever done this before uh, with any other programs, it's, it's pretty pretty easy to do. But you're just going to give us permission to access your calendar so that we can again put you know those uh, those uh, invitations for your candidates onto your calendar. Then once we have permission, we're going to choose schedule link auto generated. And this is going to give you the ability to set the days of the week and the availability, the time availability uh, during the day that you are uh, going to take your meetings. You can choose the meeting duration as well as the time zone as well. Uh, the time zone, if you have it already set up inside of your company profile, will default to that. And then you can also set up a welcome page uh, that will have this message on there for the candidate to see. And then you can set reminders uh, for the candidate as well, uh, you know, a day before the meeting to seven days before the meeting, and then, if, uh, you know, one to uh, 24 hours before the meeting as well. And then if I save that and I copy it, I'll show you what it looks like. Up. This is what your candidate will see. So they're going to put their email address in. They'll see the message that you have up here for you uh, for them, and then they'll choose a time uh, to schedule the meeting with you and hit send, and then it'll pop up right on your calendar.